to the first episode of CTV for the 2021-2022 school year. Let's learn about how student summers went with Blake, Cody, and Marcus. This week on CTV, me, Marcus Fight, and Cody Mounts went around and interviewed people about how their summer went. Check it out. I'm here with Mary. Now, Mary, what was one fun thing you did this summer? Um, I went to some fun concerts with my friends. Very fun. Thank you. Okay. I'm here with Rylan. Now, Rylan, what was one fun thing you did this summer? I went to Colorado. What'd I you almost died because the brakes broke on my excursion and we almost died, but my good thing my dad used to drive in Derek cars. Sounds fun. I'm here with Maddox. Now, Maddox, what was one thing you did this summer? I hung out with friends and had a great baseball season. I'm here with Mr. Stearns. Now, Mr. Stearns, what was one thing you did this summer? Uh, I pretty much worked in my house all day, every day. That sounds fun. Thank you. Right. I'm here with Ella, Amira, Catherine, Regan, and Hallie. And what did you guys do this summer? Um, I went to Florida. <laughs> Black Hills. I went to the Black Hills, too. I went camping with Hallie. Uh, I went camping with Kat. We went to Laura Ingalls Wilder. Dang. Sounds like everyone had a fun summer. Back to the nest. Good summer and coming back to school. Let's check out Hannah and Lauren with some back to school questions. Today we're asking some of the students a couple of back to school questions. I'm here with Liam. Liam, what's your favorite part about being back to school? Probably seeing my friends every day. Nice. <laughs> I'm with Cicada right now. Cicada, what's your favorite part about the school's renovation? <laughs> the balcony. Those baby carrots go flying. Now I'm with Reagan and Amira. Reagan, what's your favorite part about being back to school? Getting to learn new things. And what's your favorite part? The new renovation of the lunchroom. Very cool. I'm with David right now. David, what's your favorite part about being a senior? Uh, getting to leave early on Fridays. Nice. Now I'm with Elliot. Elliot, what's your favorite class that you get to take this year? Uh, probably Advanced Woods with Daryl. I love Daryl. <laughs> now I'm with Jaden. Jaden, what's your favorite part about being a junior? Um, I'm able to leave for lunch. I'm with Jordan. Jordan, if you have one piece of advice for the younger classmen, what would it be? Uh, don't fail your classes. Now I'm here with Sadie. Sadie, what's your favorite class you get to take this year? I'd say marching band because of color guard. Woo! <laughs> now I'm with Chloe. Chloe, what's one thing you're looking forward to this year? Um, the hockey season. It hasn't started yet, so can't wait to get started. Awesome. Back to the nest. Very informative. There are some new faces around the halls this year. Let's check in with Brooklyn, Macy, and Kendall to meet the new teachers this year. I'm Macy. I'm Kendall. I'm Brooke. And this week on CTV, we're interviewing new teachers. Let's check. I'm with Mrs. Thone, and what grade do you teach? I teach sixth grade earth science. Is this your first teaching job, or have you worked somewhere else than Laverne? Um, I've subbed in Laverne for four years, off and on, and I did teach morning kindergarten up in Hopkins, up in the cities, but that was like 20 years ago. So I would say this is my first full-time position. So how do you like Laverne so far? I love it. My kids are here. Great community, <laughs> great teachers, staff. Love the school. Perfect. Thank you. So I'm here with Mr. Arnold, and what do you teach? Computer classes. And is this your first teaching job, or have you worked somewhere else? No, I've, this is my 16th year of teaching, 17th actually. And how do you like Laverne so far? It's great. I enjoy it. It's the best school I've been in so far. So. And what made you want to teach here? <laughs> uh, proximity primarily. I live not too far away, so this is perfect location. Okay. But the people are great too. Yeah. And what's one thing you were looking forward to this school year? Um, just learning about Laverne, or getting to know people primarily. Um, that's really it. Getting my getting app acclimated to the cardinal way of life here, so. Well, perfect, thank you. All right, we're with Mrs. Sudengag, and what do you teach? I teach math. And what grade level? 10th grade. And is this your first teaching job? This is my first full-time teaching job. And how do you like Laverne so far? Uh, pretty good, uh, I grew up here, so I've been here my whole life, know the area, so. Perfect. And what made you want to teach here? Um, it was a job. I got offered a job, so I took it. <laughs> and what is one thing you're looking forward to this school year? 
Um, I'm kind of excited to go to like all the sporting events, get back into being a Cardinal and going to basketball, volleyball, that sort of thing. So I'm excited. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm with Mrs. Eitoven. So what do you teach? I teach a section of 11-12 speech and ninth grade English. Is this your first teaching job? No, I taught for 11 years in Brandon, actually in kindergarten. And how do you like Laverne so far? Well, I'm a graduate of Laverne, so this is where I want to take it back to ever since I graduated and glad to be here. And what is one thing you're looking forward to this year? Um, just getting to know the students um, and staff since it's a new building and new um, students and working with just a new level of students that I've never worked with before. Perfect. Thank you. Glad to meet all the new teachers this year. Hopefully they're liking Laverne so far. Let's listen in to Burke, Hunter, and Jace for this year's new classes. I'm Hunter Gaffney and I'm here with Burke Johnson and Jace Arp and we're going to be interviewing the, some of the teachers about the new classes they're offering this year. I'm here with Mr. Sig Miller and we're here to discuss the new class sports entertainment marketing. Mr. Sig Miller, why don't you tell me about sports entertainment marketing? Okay, well in this class uh, basically our, our biggest thing is we've started streaming uh, a lot of our games and activities. Basically anything we can do to promote Laverne High School, so we'll make Facebook posts, highlight videos, graphics in the halls, uh, basically anything that anybody wants to do to promote our sports, activities, things like that. And why should students take this class? I think it's a good class for anybody that really has uh, some school spirit, wants to make uh, Laverne High School a better place. All right, thank you. Good interview. I'm here with Mr. Larson, and he is teaching sociology this semester. So, can you tell us a little bit about the class? Yeah, so sociology is an elective. Uh, it's one of the social sciences along with psychology and anthropology. And basically it comes down to is what is society and why does it work the way it does? All right, that's awesome. So can you give me a couple reasons about why students should take your class? Yeah, um, it's a fun class. I think that the uh, types of things we look at are interesting to a lot of people. Um, I'm a fun teacher, everybody knows that. And then, um, I don't know, high schoolers, you're all so awkward. Uh, let's figure out why that is. All right, those are some pretty good reasons on why to take that class. I'm here with Mr. Robs, and we're here to talk with him about his new class, Tragedies and Triumphs of History. Mr. Robs, could you tell us a little bit about what this class is going to be about? I feel we'll cover the presidential assassinations with some of the other ones that aren't as well known. Uh, triumphs, potentially the 1980 hockey uh, gold medal, or maybe a more serious topic, the United Nations, potentially doing research projects and things like that. Sounds interesting. All right, thanks for talking to us, Mr. Ops. We gotta go. The new classes seem pretty fun. Homecoming week went great as there was a lot of school spirit. Let's see a homecoming recap with Nathaniel, Brock, and Zach. This week on CTV, me, Cruzy, and Baradog asked people what their favorite part about homecoming was. Check it out. Alright, I'm here with Brooklyn vs. Egg. And Brooklyn, how does it feel to be homecoming queen? It's pretty exciting, definitely wasn't expected, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, All right. Right. here with homecoming king Casey. Now Casey, how does it feel to be homecoming king? Uh, it was an honor, it was cool. Alright, Brooklyn, what was your favorite memory of homecoming? Definitely winning Powder Puff is pretty awesome. Yes, sir. Casey? Kicking the junior's butt. There you have it. <laughs> I'm here with Blake Isframis. Blake Isframis, what was your favorite part about homecoming? Um, going to B-dubs after we beat the juniors in dodgeball and Powder Puff. Great answer. All right. I'm here with Macy. Now, Macy, what was your favorite part of homecoming? My favorite part was going to the football game and then the dance after. Awesome. G Money. Now, G Money, what was your favorite part about homecoming? Uh, might be Powder Puff, even though we got some fat L's. It's okay. We got some B dubs after. It's okay. And I got to look absolutely drippy. Other than that, maybe just, I don't know, student section. That was pretty cool. Pretty fun. I don't know. Great quality answer. Homecoming was a blast. Way to have Cardinal Pride. Back to the nest. As you can see, homecoming week was a blast. Speaking of a blast, the juniors went on a career fair. Let's check it out with Colin, Jordan, Gavin, and Andy. <laughs> this week on CTV, G Money and Andy checked out the career fair. Let's check it out. 
Hi, I'm here with Caleb Hine, and Caleb Hine, do you have any ideas or plans after high school? Uh, I'm either probably going to go to the reserves or going to find a uh, career in sports. You heard it here. That's what Caleb Hine wants to do after high school. Has this career fair helped you at all with that idea? Uh, I met up with my recruiter again here, but there was a lacking of sports here. Yeah. All right, thank you, Caleb. All right, I'm here with Steve. And Steve, would you like to tell us what you do? Yeah, I work for all of the Minnesota State institutions, and I promote and advocate for all of the transportation-related pathways. So it could be being an automotive technician or diesel technician or flying a plane or running heavy equipment. We have about 72 programs across the state of Minnesota. All right. Would you, do you have any advice for any upcoming students? Yeah, no matter what you're going to do, you need to go visit college campuses. Do every single thing you can, and I would also encourage you to explore a few things that maybe you wouldn't have thought of before. One of the biggest mistakes I made was I thought I was only a four-year college student. I thought that was the only pathway for me. I wish I, I, wish I had visited some two-year schools, and I could say the same for students visiting two-year schools. Go visit, find out what feels good, find out what you like, and talk to some instructors. All right, thank you. Whoa, that was pretty neat. Back to the nest. I hope the career fair gave everyone an idea of what they want to do in the future. Let's see how fall sports are going with Eli and Casey. Sports! Hi, my name is Eli. And I'm Casey. And this is sports. Let's watch some clips. That's what I'm saying. Tuesday, the cross country team traveled to St. James. Both teams took home first, with Tenley Nelson and Camden Janiszewski coming in first in their respective races. Tenley finished with a time of 19 minutes and 25 seconds, and Camden finished with 17 minutes and 27 seconds. Nice job, boys and girls. Girls Volleyball took home a dub on Tuesday at home, beating Worlington 3-2 in five sets. Macy Stratton went 22 for 22, serving with two aces. Elise Farrell led the team with 15 kills. The volleyball team then traveled to St. James Thursday and swept the Saints. Volleyball Senior Unite is next Thursday against MCW. Nice job, ladies. Girls Tennis defeated Redwood 7-0 Monday. The tennis team is seated first for sections starting next week. The girls are undefeated in section play and look to continue their success in the playoffs. Good luck, girls. Football crushed Worthington with a score of 29-0. Ashton Sandbull led rushing with 15 carries for 130 yards and two touchdowns. Gannon Art had five catches for 56 yards and one touchdown. Way to go, boys. Those are some pretty cool highlights. Good job, everyone. Back to the nest. That's all for this week's episode of CTV. See you next week. <laughs>